Hey guys, it's Jessica from Crafted and Stampin.blogspot.com, and I put a video up yesterday, uh, my first post for the Cutting Cafe design team, I'm on the video team, and I had put out there that if anybody was interested in having me show you how to import a Cutting Cafe file into your Silhouette Studio Designer Edition, um, to just send me a message, and I actually had quite a few people ask me to do that. I got some private messages for it as well as some on YouTube and some on my page. So I wanted to show you how to do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your Silhouette Studio Designer Edition and you're going to go up to where it says File. And you are going to go to Import to My Library. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on All Files and you're going to see all the items in there that I, I mean, I have mine saved under the Cutting Cafe, so I know where all my items are. Um, I'm going to go to find something that I do not believe I pulled in yet, because um, I'm pretty sure I pulled everything in already. Um, let's see here. Let's just do this one. Okay. Um, now, this is a background, Buzz Background Large. This was... Um, I think this is where you can actually print it, if I'm not mistaken. I'm, I didn't pull this one in. I actually just pulled in the cups. Um, you could change it to whatever you want. Um, I'm going to add in my artist so I know where I got it from. Um, I have, I'm just going to leave it the same file name, Buzz Background Large, and I'm going to click OK. All right. Unfortunately, that one wasn't a good, <laughs> that wasn't a good example because it wasn't supported. But just hypothetically, if you were going to pull something in, actually, you know what? I'm going to pull in a different file that I know I have that I did not pull in yet. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's do one from here. How about, hide them here. Um, there we go. See, that's the way it should it should just automatically get pulled in so anyway so once you pull it in now let's go back and do the cutting cafe items I had pulled in um, these really cool pinwheels and I have them all here and I know I am work, wanting to work with this one so what I did was let's start at the beginning here let's go back I have a blank screen um, and I'm ready to pull in and or I'm ready to start working with a file that I pulled in. I'm going to go over to here to where it says show library. I'm going to click on my library and it should come up on my own designs. It might come up to recent downloads, but you would come to my own designs. And these are all the items that I have pulled in myself from wherever I, I it may have been. Um, and like I said, I wanted to work on the pinwheel. So I'm going to go down and find the item that I'm looking for scroll all the way through and this was the one I wanted to do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click it and it's going to pop up onto a blank page in my uh, the page that shows my map now I'm going to actually go back to this one because I already started it now you see how this looks here where this is how it got pulled in and I want to move this so that they're both on the same map but if I go to move it look both of them move I don't want that I want it to where I can move this one freely and move the top one freely so what you have to do is you're going to click on your scallop to make sure that you have this box around so where you can see that it's obviously grouped. Once you have that done, you are going to right click and you're going to click the ungroup button. Now you're going to do it one more time and that way everything is ungrouped because I had two items here. Now you see all these little squares, how they're around the circles, they're around the lines, they're around the scallop um, square here. That is all the individual pieces that are cut. Now, if I were to just click anywhere and say I wanted to go and move this right now, why do you see what happens? Okay, see, I don't want that. I want the whole thing to move as a whole. So what you'll do is you're going to click on any of the items in here, and you're going to hold your shift button down, and you're just going to go through and click on everything. And you see how the square is starting to move with everything? We're starting to form a group. And what we need to do is we need to regroup each scallop um, square pinwheel here by itself. Oops, let's see, I moved too quick there. I needed the computer to catch up with me, and it didn't. Hello, there we go. 
So just come back and just click. You just can't move too quick because you saw what happened. Then all you have to do is hit your back button if that happens again. Just make sure you're moving slow. You wait for your squares to show up. Now, believe it or not, you do have to do these, these slashes also because otherwise it won't pull it when you want to move it. So you're not going to get the cuts and you obviously need the cuts or the pinwheel as well as the little circle in the center. You also have to come back and click the outside so it knows to cut this scallop with it. And then when you're done, you can right click again and you can click the group button. Now you should be able to move it without a problem. See, very easy, um, very cool to use. Oops, that's not what I want to do. This one I clearly didn't collect all of it with. Oh, this is the one that I came back to. Um, sorry about that. So anyway, that's how easy it is. You can click it, you can move it, you can do whatever you want to do. And then that way, if you wanted to maybe duplicate it, I don't know if I'd be able to get two on, but let's go over to our replicate. Let's duplicate to the right and see what happens. Oops, let's highlight it and duplicate to the right and see what happens. Oops, okay, so it's not big enough. So I'm going to want to keep just one on there. I'll probably do two of the little small guys, but I have to go back in and regroup them. But I just wanted to show you a quick um, how to on how to import the Cutting Cafe files and how to regroup your items. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, please check out my blog www.craftedandstampin.blogspot.com. Um, and if you have any questions, just shoot me a quick email. You can find me on YouTube. You can find me on my blog, or the Cutting Cafe. Um, I'm all over. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.